<laughs> oh man hello happy sunday what's today the 10th something like that it's a day it's a day it's yeah. a day yeah. it's another yeah. day yes as you can see it's pretty shocking you know there's a little bit of differences in some of these pictures you know we got somebody with some dried milk on the chin and then somebody that's baby face you know, you know i had to keep up the appearances for you know the the millions and millions of people out there I love seeing my That's face. Right. I think you might want to take oh. a take a page out of my book, you know, and then maybe maybe you know things would be things would be a little bit better. <laughs> hey. hey, you finally washed your face. That's about it. That's Look, it. I, like right I already off. said, I'd dirt. rather I'd rather have the dirt off my face <laughs> than it look like I didn't wash my face after eating a bowl of cereal. With some dried milk, okay. That's all I'm saying. That is, uh, that is all I'm saying. Well, how you doing today, man? <laughs> you doing all right? Great, great, great. All's well. And yourself? I'm doing good. Right in over here, but you know that's about that's about it, really. Been a real cloudy, like just rainy day. Just sleeping. You know how when the it's rainy, you get just get tired for no reason. So yeah. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, oh, I, I, I'm glad to have the, you know, be able to talk to you, have this conversation. Uh huh. So, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. So you can, so you can hit it. I got the, I got the pebble. Right here. I got it's the, right here. I got the it's pebble, right but you know, I don't. I, I'm, I'm 107 years old. I don't realize the pebbles are already gone. <laughs> but. <laughs> The master and the student. That, that's all this is. That's all this is. I mean, you can, you can, you can sit there and talk all you want to that wall because <laughs> the time has already passed you by. But we got, we got a, uh, we got a good one here today. Um, we're talking about us, the boys, the men's, the 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 people walking around with the clubs, wrecking stuff and blowing stuff up. You know. Um, I don't know about that, but yeah, yeah, mainly, yeah, <laughs> mainly. I, I've seen some women doing the same thing, but but it's mainly the men. You're right. Yeah, but it's a, it's a us, man. It's a we we know that in general, but I'm saying it's a us episode today. So you know, I'm gonna po I'm gonna focus the attention on us, strictly on men, strictly on men. <laughs> and I guess the Let's first, thing, I guess the first thing we can talk about is. Why don't we go uh, to the doctor? And, and I can tell you that right now because uh, in a man culture, it's like, oh, you going to the doctor? You little weak, weak, beep, 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 beep. You know what I mean? So you're talking with your boys, at least back then. Now it's you know now it's more like your boys want to see you on this earth a lot longer. <laughs> so you got that right. Um, you know, absolutely. So yeah, I mean that that's just that's the nature of the beast right now. I mean time is changing you know, people's uh people's uh, view on things have changed, but the main reason at least for at least for you know this generation right here the the generation that is going to take over the world and everything the universe and going to Mars and all that stuff. Um it was more so uh, seen as like <laughs> seen as though uh, we don't need to do it uh, you know we're immortal we we live through everything we can do everything um you know nothing can hurt us superman totally totally um it's 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 a it's a it's not true i mean it's totally you you're out of the realm of reality if you think that um based on the food and things in society yeah, and just big business how big business it's not all about health even though the health um craze is pushed but 
it's, it's so many things to preserve food and you know uh big business of uh the pharmaceuticals and things like that that and, and technology that men need to uh step the game up and take accountability for their health so would you say it's the lack well the the presence of more information uh, as far as like symptoms like web md and all that stuff that that would prevent us from going to the doctor or like seeing us like the macho man like we don't we don't need to worry about it i mean i'm asking you as, as the as the as the dust father over there you know <laughs> <laughs> no no the, uh to the youth that think nothing can happen to me and I can live forever, uh, I'm going to explain this to you. Um, yes, it's a macho thing with it. Um, no one wants to, and it's not even macho, it's, it's just a lack of, it's not me. It can't, you know, that's not what's going on with me. Even though the symptoms are there, everything, even though everything's showing, that look, you need to go. Um, this is not going away. The the symptom, like I said, symptoms are there. You you need to get an opinion. You don't know what's going on inside, but you you can feel it, but you just don't know. So with that is a a mentality of and and this is an old school mentality that. Or once, if I don't know, it doesn't affect me. It, it and and I grew up with people believing that that if if I ignore it, I got a better chance than if once I find out, then you know it's no hope because they see it. They see it. But little do they know, the person waited too long, and once they had to go, it was too late. Hmm. Okay. Well, you know, another thing that I will say is, uh, put some dirt on, you'll be all right. <laughs> you can't, you can't. <laughs> At any point in time, anybody that's out there that's in my generation will say, oh, yeah, I heard that before. Yep, 100 percent. And I, I think some of that can attribute to as far as us guys. Just, yeah, just put some dirt on it. You'll be fine. <laughs> just, just rub some dirt on it. You old boy, we quick play. Suck it up. Suck it up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, you twist your ankle. It, it was always taught that way. You know, um, yes deal with it and move on um but you can't do that with your health um uh, and the thing about it a lot of times people have means to get adequate health care but they just don't use it yeah i mean it's well it's pretty much a requirement for unless you're self-employed but even now you're still required to get some form of health care but wherever you're working they provide it for you you have an option to opt in for it of course um but yeah it's there it's just a matter of whether or not you choose to use it but uh at the same time if we if we take it to the nth degree and it becomes a problem then that problem also presents a burden to your significant other or loved ones that may be present in your life if you don't take care of yourself and so that in it that in itself can lead to a lot of problems uh, and i feel as though they may require some brute force like not brute force but basically verbal uh verbal berating from your significant others tell them to go get checked out if they're being stubborn because i know there's some people out there that are stubborn and everybody has a stubborn quality here or there they feel like oh i'm right about this 100 i'm not I'm not moving, uh, whatever the case may be. And sometimes you just need that that uh, that kick in the rear end to to, to get you uh, where you need to go. Well, 
Absolutely. Um, the thing is, it could be, and, and what you're saying, it could be physical, or it could be mental. And you, and if you notice, it's a lot of mental stuff. Um, dementia, you know, Alzheimer's, and things like that. So the person probably doesn't even realize that they're going through this process that things are changing that they are changing and it's not a good thing that you know but you know you've got to have people around you around you who are aware so and, and with men it, statistics show that men you know usually pass before the woman well, we so, we know another reason why that happens, but we won't go yeah, the We won't go into that. <laughs> but, but but that's another topic for another. But but the thing is that you know being aware of the situation, what's going on, having people around you that have your best interests plays a major role. And what you want to do is do whatever you can. To not to have that kind of burden placed on your family. You, you, you know, eating healthy, exercise, um, going to regular checkups, getting blood work, things like that. That that's that's not just for you, that's for the people who have to take care of you. Because eventually everybody goes back. You're born, you're a baby, someone has to bring you up. And then you go back to that state again, eventually. You know, you you grow, you become a man, you take care of the house, and then you're back to a kid again because someone has to take care of you. You're not going to be able to do what you did when you were 20, when you're 90, if you're lucky, if you do everything right. Well, for the most part. So. It's it's not only a benefit for you, it's a benefit for your family as well. Right. To take care of yourself, get medical checkups. So let me let me ask you this. And I pretty much know the the answer to this, but I want to hear your 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 opinion on it from someone in the seventeen fifties. Um with uh with everything that's been going on the past couple of years, you a, a lot of people would take with would make the claim that oh i can't go because of what's going on i don't want to risk my health however with everything technology wise that's available there shouldn't be an excuse for that what, what do you think about that like if someone was saying they can't go to the gym or they can't exercise or, or something like it well for for me I, i'm just saying you know that's a young person's excuse the old person okay. like hey we, oh so you just have get... a gym. <laughs> so you we just didn't have a gym. <laughs> we didn't have we didn't have a gym you know we didn't have a gym growing up oh so right just, right you know, walking to school you know, 12, no, no, what I'm saying walking is, to school 12 what, miles in the snow both ways we get it we that's get right. it that's right that's right so so you know i i get what you're saying in in the broad spectrum of things yes um is is technology and learning how to adapt plays a major role in this. And, and you got resources that you could just give. I, I really personally, I don't want to go into the hospital because sick people are in the hospital. And, I, and especially if I don't feel I'm sick, that takes it to another level. Because if I feel, even though something... I might have an issue and, and that's a problem and that's something that we have to overcome. Even though I have an issue, I don't want to go to the hospital because there's a bunch of sick people there that might get me sick. And but that's not the way you do. That's why you have general, you know, general practitioners and things like that and specialists that you go to, but you have to go to that general practitioner on a regular basis to go to the specialist to prevent hospitalization in the future. 
that you have to go there. Um, with COVID, everything everything changes. They they got virtual um, medical treatment and advice online. I hadn't used that. Um, I've used it. I have used it, but in a minor way. Um, but I usually like face to face. Mm-hmm. So I set up an appointment and go in and do that. The fact that if you don't do that, you don't do anything, you you roll in the dice. And which a lot of youth, you know, the the ones with the baby face, uh try to have a baby face, like stuff, you know, try to do. And it doesn't work. Well, I, I can tell you right now that uh, there is a and we'll, ooh, story time. I'll just leave it at that. So a certain individual, this was maybe 10 years ago. I'm still young. Uh, go to the doctor. Uh, well, younger. I'm still young now, you know, because right, right. Uh, go to the doctor and I'm informed that I need to get a check on my colon and so the whole pro- I, i'm pretty sure most of y'all out there know how that check goes with the the snap and and the woohoo and so that, I, I can tell you that right now i have generally disliked the doctor for that specific reason and i want to just say thank you for that because i didn't need it after she after she did the check, she's like, oh, you're healthy. And I was like, you don't say. <laughs> and so I realized now I need to be doing that at, at you know where I'm at in my life now. But back then, that was that was not uh that was not okay being You get ahead of the game. Nah, bruh. <laughs> nah, bruh. That mm I, I can tell you right now that I, I wanted to fight somebody after after that. Because that but- and I know it was out of love because they're concerned about me, but you lucky. You lucky you didn't get the paws put on you because that would have been game over. <laughs> well, I, I went through that process and um and you're way ahead of the game. You're you're way ahead of the game. But those numbers keep going down. Those be uh, you know, the age to have that prostate exam it keeps going down. So you you might be ahead of it. When I went, you know, it, it I, I get you you know the process. <laughs> it's, it's 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 nothing fun. It's it's nothing uh to uh to brag about, but it's necessary because I've I've known close friends. Uh, co-workers and things like that that found things there uh, waited later than me before I had it and um, it had it before me and found things so um, it's not fun but it's necessary you you just got used to the game early but but it's something you're gonna to have to do periodically for the rest of your life. Uh, you, I mean, you have to start somewhere. <laughs> you have to start somewhere, and you just started early. But I, I, I did it, and I, you know, I have to do it again. As long as I live, I'm gonna to have to do it periodically. Um, it's not something I want to do, but I have to do it. Or suffer the consequences thereof. Yeah, just like someone almost suffered the consequences that fateful day. I would have went around. Everybody would have caught the paws that day. Everybody. It wouldn't matter. <laughs> Male, female, kid, old person. <laughs> oh, huh? That that process is so. Uh, only that the worst part of that process is the prep. Everything else you don't even remember. I felt violated. She at least could have took me out to dinner first. Like, 
You at least could have taken me out to dinner first. I was like, I have no idea what's about to happen here. <laughs> she explained it to me, and I was like, okay, cool. You know, they're going to do something. She's like, yeah, lay down your side. Hey, we're going in. I was like, wait. <laughs> mm -mm. No. 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 Absolutely not. Now, that is a more of a physical. What about the mental side of it? How do you see, have you dealt or even talked to someone that had to deal with the mental side of illness, uh, you know, taking care of their father or a man that has dementia or anything like that? No, most of my most of my friends, all their family members are relatively healthy or they're not here. So there's no like there's no real in between uh, as far as the mental side. But I mean, of course, when you lose somebody, that's going to weigh on you mentally, uh, depending on where, if you lost, depending on what part of your life you lost them at. But as far as taking care of somebody with like dementia or, or some sort of health problem, no, I can't really say that I know anyone that's that's gone through that. Yeah. No one off the top of my head that I can think of. Okay. So now I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna touch on something. Um and it was even in our culture as well. Uh, you suppose it, it was a generational thing where the person grows old and then the child takes care of the parent. That that's that's been how it's been done since the seventeen hundreds. We get it, yeah. I mean, but and before that, <laughs> before that. Well, no, I mean now it's more a lot of a lot of people are just put them in the home. So it's not so much take care of them. It's like, hey, we put them in the home or, you know, have somebody come visit them at their home or something like that. Caretaker or something like but, that. Caregiver, not but caretaker. I, but I do know some some people currently that still take their parents in. Mm -hmm. Other cultures, you know, but they take their parents in and they, you know, are caregivers. Um. But that is not that is a taught uh, or a learned trait in society that is part of a culture that is not the norm in our culture so when you see someone that do that you have to applaud that because that is something that was not taught that is something that I guess during through time they've matured, they understand, they see the relevance in it, and they're doing what they know to do. Um, I wish that is more uh, would be promoted more, um, but it's not. And but other cultures that's understood. So like I said, with dementia and, and things like that or, or the physical or mental um, you know, um, I guess deterioration there is it is with with that being said, a group somebody has to take care of that person. But nobody's going to take care of that person like their loved ones. And I, I, I mean, it's, you might have them in a good facility, which is, but who does the research? Who does the time? Who takes the time to make sure that person's in a place that? Is going to give them that. So, with that being said, do I want to put that on my family to make that decision? Do I want to put that on my family to hold that burden? So, as a young man like yourself, um, do you want to take on that burden? 
would you want to take on that? Of taking care of, of my 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 parents. Take care of or mm. allow them to go someplace where somebody else will take care of. Them. That would be a conversation that I would have. That would be a sit down conversation that I would have with my parents. And and the way that I know my parent. <laughs> she would be more inclined to tell me to go live my life and have somebody just take care of her or visit her or whatever and just come back and see her because she's hard-headed but um other parents may not be the same way but i know her um and that's which i'm i'm 99 sure that's what she would say she would say you know just have hire somebody to, if i can't do it hire somebody to come take care of me um, but just make sure you, m me physically come visit her, and, you know, on major holidays or whatnot. Um, but yeah, I, uh, that, that's a, a great question. I would have to ask my, uh, my friend that question, see what he says, but yeah, I know that's the way that conversation would go if I had it with, uh, with, with, uh, my mom's. Okay. So, so how would you look at encouraging men to go to the doctor as, as at your age? How would I encourage? Yeah. Um, what, what do you think the importance of it is? I mean, at, where you're at. We, we, our generation is, is more health conscious than you can't you can't you can't tip oh you don't believe that no. okay go no. go look at no, go look at no, no go way. look at go look at instagram go look at twitter i guarantee you that you you can see that but a majority <laughs> majority right. of people in my generation are more health conscious about their bodies and everything like that because it's it's a it's a it's it's a visual thing. Whatever their motto, whatever their motivation is for doing it, is on them. But I guarantee you, <laughs> I would are say, I would see. Mm -hmm. Are you telling me? Are you saying right now? I want to make sure I get this straight. That you're more health conscious, your generation, than the previous generation yes. before you. I would say that one hundred percent. Absolutely not. <laughs> I would say that one hundred percent. One hundred percent. Everybody is trying to be an influencer in this generation. You can't tell me I'm wrong. Everyone in my generation is trying to be an influencer of something of some sort. I I go on Instagram and when I wake up in the morning, I see at least ten different somebody po somebody in my age bracket holding up. Oh, try out this protein powder or do this set of working out routines or whatever the case may be. Trying to get thinner for summer? Do this workout, ladies. You can't t you can't tell me I'm wrong. You can't no, tell me I'm, I'm wrong. I'm telling you wrong. <laughs> you know why I would say I could tell you you're wrong? Because they don't move. They can't get their hair, you know, they can't sweat. They can't go out there. And there's very few. Now, now oh, hold on. I'm not going to say the gyms are not promoted out there, but no, no, absolutely not. It, it's too much of you got the luxuries of being home and you don't have to go out. And it, it's just, I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to put it out there. A bunch of lazy young people. I, I, I just, I just don't see them getting out there not for not everyone this is not for everyone this is in general that no 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 we had to walk to the store we didn't have, we had to walk what we is walking to, no, what is walking no, no, to the no. store what is walking to the store have to do about being walk health conscious store? huh did you walk to the store? yes i did walk to the store when how far <laughs> we're not about to sit there and do, we're not gonna, we're not about to sit there and compare mileage and everything like that. No, we're not. We're we are not in the Flintstone era where you sit there and have to push your cars with your feet. Okay, we got technology now. <laughs> At least they ran though. We're talking about. I am. I, I can go. I can go right now on Instagram, and I guarantee you, there's at least four people on my page and be like oh yeah try this if they're not posting pictures about them getting married or something like that look there's one right there somebody working out 
Okay. Uh, okay. Let's oh, see. You see people working out, working out, working out, working okay. out. Wow, I see people not working out. I see I'm a just, lot of people. I'm just saying, out. it's people in my generation. He talking about. Our, <laughs> I'm. I'm just saying. I feel like it's, there were more health conscience in this generation because everybody's trying to sell you something. Got more information. And you know who's using that? We are. Yeah, because you. <laughs> we are using. It. You want to? You want to know why you? You want to know why you using it? Well, you want to know why you using it? Why? Because you're too damn hard headed. That's why you have to rely on us to beat you over the head about it. About living to 70, 80, 90 years old. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, we're trying to stay around because we know we have to be around. Because if, if y'all go unchecked and unguided, no telling where we're going to end up. There's so many things I could say right <laughs> no, now. Hey, There's so many. Hey, no. Hey, I'm taking the gloves off. <laughs> all right, all right. Mm -mm. I'm ready to go. Well, let's go. Dude. No, no. Because do not tell me your generation is more fit. I didn't even say more fit. I said more health conscious. There's a difference. We got more health information. Okay. But we're using it. You're Your welcome. Generation not using it. <laughs> we are you. not using we're, it. We're using it because we're trying to sell you this. We're selling you the stuff that you want. <laughs> we're selling you the stuff yeah, <laughs> so you right. can live that's longer. We're living longer and y'all dying. How are we die? What are you talking about? We're providing you the okay, stuff. Overweight, we're providing you. Now. We're providing you. Overweight. Oh, we're wait. providing you oh, the wait. we're providing you the cup of eternal youth so that way you're not dying. <laughs> what do you mean we're dying? What are you talking oh, about? No, no. The the fact is we're using the information that we're providing you because we're more health conscious. Oh, about, yeah. Because you're trying to make money. And you're we're more health conscious. I, just, I, said no, 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 I said that earlier. I said that earlier. I said that earlier. I said everybody is trying to be an influencer. Help. <laughs> not, not, not trying to be healthy. More health conscious doesn't mean you. Hey, more health conscious doesn't mean you have to be healthy. You can sit. You can sit there and be a, a heavy set dude and be like, "Hey, yo, I, I use this." It's, it just to post your face on a healthy body, be like, "Hey, yo, I use this every day, and I do this workout and make me so make myself great." And you you be some overweight dude behind the camera. Nobody's gonna know. So so you you think you think the process of just putting stuff out there and don't have anything to back it up means it's, it's okay. I mean, y'all are buying it, aren't you? <laughs> y'all are buying it, aren't you? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But you definitely going to have to realize that, look, you're not as healthy as the generation before you because you're less active. You, Look, you, I just said, realize. I said, and we're I'm tell you something. this topic about hell is more for you than it is for no. me. <laughs> I said we're more health conscious. I never said we were more fit. There's a big difference. About me. There's a big difference. Well, I'm, I'm correlating all that. Together. <laughs> There's a big difference. Because there's no way you're going to sit there and say that. Look, we, our generation is not as overweight. We, we might have weight. You know, a little bit more weight than we should, but we're not as overweight. Man, I've I've seen you time and time again mm -hmm. the weight difference from your generation and our generation. It's obesity at high at a high level mm -hmm. in your generation and below. Not as, not as much in ours. Yeah, because you guys didn't, you guys didn't have that much, you know. You had to, you had to fight and scavenge for everything, for every piece of meat right, and every little bit of food. And it's, <laughs> for every little bit of food, and it's not my fault that that the, that there's more information and technology around that makes everything a little bit more easier for us. However, the fact that you are not checking us on these health products that we're selling to you that you guys are using. To be 70, 80, 90 years old. Whose fault is that? <laughs> Whose fault we're is that? Enough, we're smart enough to know. Hey, they might come no, up with it. No. We're smart enough to use it. No, no, no. Absolutely yeah. not. Absolutely yeah. not.
And think about it. Think about it. The men. The men now. Shoot, they don't even make it to our age. It's the so look how you look at healthcare. How you look at healthcare as a a young man in society right now. How do, I how look- do you look at healthcare? You don't need it. You think you don't need it. Right? <laughs> right? Uh, maybe 10 years ago, yes. <laughs> but now uh, I, it's a necessity. Now it's a necessity. Like I said, as you get as you're growing up in that range, as that range after you leave the house to the part of where you I, I say later 20s, early 30s, that's when you're like, okay, maybe I need it now at this point. But when you're in that that 10 year gap between 18 to 28, I don't I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. That's a waste of money. They're taking stuff out of my paycheck. What you mean? No health care. <laughs> but even now, even now, now you look at it. How do you look at it now? Do, is it important? Yeah. How important is it? How important is it? On a, on a scale of one to one 10 to or how? Two. One to one, 10? One to 10. One to 10. Hmm. You still think you're invincible. The, the fact I'm, that you have, there you go. I mean, but there's so many other things that, that are like important. What? Like what? Your health. Your health. Uh, What's so important <laughs> than your health? I mean, because you think you're invincible. How, how, right. how are you going to have, right. he- how are you going to have health if you can't pay for it? Well, that's, that's, what, <laughs> well, well, that's what the generation before you. <laughs> How you gonna have health? You can't pay for it. You the tools to make sure that you're able to pay for it. We're in Canada. No, yeah. <laughs> so, so how, how do you how do you see? Go it? ahead. I'm listening. I'm listening. Go ahead. <laughs> Talk about oh, and the fact that I have to think. There's so many other things I have to think about. Healthcare is important. Don't get me wrong, but I have to be able to pay for it. If I can't pay for healthcare, <laughs> so so you think you think you should get it for free? I think there should be a method of being able to provide for it to where it's not costing me an arm and a leg. I don't I don't see anybody having an issue getting healthcare if they go to the hospital or go to the doctor. <laughs> I mean, having, uh, I'll tell you this right now. I, I don't know if this would actually relate to healthcare, but I saw someone post a bill of how much their delivery was. And right. I believe it was like $10,000 right. just for the baby delivery. And I'm just like, okay, so <laughs> if it's, if it's 10 grand for that and surgery is costing everything, hey, surgery is costing an arm and leg too so of course i'm gonna have to think about it because it's like hey do i do i am i gonna have the money to pay for this to, to go get checked up absolutely absolutely <laughs> i i agree with what you're saying <laughs> I, I agree but but this this is what i have to look at so if it's that's with a different because i know people who have you know well i've heard of people having nine to ten kids Single, and they never said anything about the issue of having a, a child. 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 doesn't matter. They had nine, 10, 11 kids. So that's what I'm saying. The health care, however, the health- they, they may not have talked about it, but how's their credit? <laughs> how's, how's, the, how's, the, how's the credit? <laughs> How much in debt are <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Are they on a pay? Are they on a payment plan? Who would they pay? I don't know. <laughs> so. I don't know that. If you get on a payment plan with one, I promise you, it would be a number two. <laughs> don't you? Say I would think. I would think. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But but you know, just just get back. Let's get back to the you know the, the you know the uh, nuts and bolts of this thing, men need to do what they need to do to take care of themselves. Of course. And I don't care how young they think they are that they're going to make that, you know, secondary. Hey, somebody was thinking ahead and got you ahead of the game on something that really wasn't. 
It, it wasn't, it was, it, that could have just been an easy conversation. Like, hey, you need to do this every, I didn't have to go through that experience yet. Especially for the doctor to be like, yeah, you're healthy. Okay. Well, clearly. I mean, I don't have an issue, right? I don't have any symptoms or issues right now. You want an issue? You want an issue? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I'm, okay, I, I'm, you I'm, in, I'm in my, I'm in my no, best. I'm in my have. best life right now. I'm working out. I'm in shape. I'm doing what I need to do. I'm like, right. uh, of course. <laughs> like I, I'm not. I don't have any symptoms. My 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 stool is fine. You know, when I'm using the bathroom, everything is fine. I, I, I get it, but a conversation would have been nice. That's all. A conversation instead of actually having to experience no, that. No, that you were great. You were still no, great. but just saying a conversation about the about that as a man getting your prostate checked would have been nice instead of just going through the whole experience. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure they explained you that process. Yeah, as I was going through it, but I'm saying it'd be like, hey, studies show at this age, you know, you need you need to start taking care of your prostate, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, like they do now. Instead of, oh, surprise, you're getting a prostate exam along with your physical. Buckle up, son. <laughs> well deserved. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Listen. It's 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 very important. That's a very important exam, especially you know the older you get. Um, we 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 have in certain um, groups, heart disease, diabetes, things like that. So and you know which before before all this. If people didn't even recognize dementia, you know, they didn't even. So, I, you know, I'm going to have to take my hat off to the younger generation. Now, this is something that is being addressed, caught early, and um, they got tests and things like that. But I, I think prevention, early diagnosis of these things are crucial, which I have to give you a generation. You're a part of that. And we're making use of it. We're smart enough to know to make use of it. Um, but, you know, our activity, our being active has played a role because I, I, I'm thinking, being honest with you, I'm thinking our generation, the male generation, of activity as a whole and our age and our our uh, ability to use the resources that are available or coming available are in a better position than the youth because you, you've never been active as active as we have and now you're going to be playing catch up because activity plays a major role in health activity diet and you know maybe your diets are probably better than ours but but activity i i just don't think you can compare with the older generation well yeah i mean there's not a there, there's not a computer to sit at and do everything for you now you had to like like there was back in the the 1500s where you're sitting there having to push boulders up hills instead of using a a wheel to roll it down the hill. Um, <laughs> That's right. That's so, right. so yeah, of course there there's more activity back in back in the the, the age of darkness, but in the age of technology, things are a little bit easier. And I will give you that. There's probably not as much activity as there was back then. Because everything is simplified now as far as doing everything from a computer or remotely or where it doesn't require a whole lot of labor. So, yeah, I will concede that to you. But things are going to continue to get easier as time goes on. So it's it's up to that person to be aware and do the, do whatever activities they do, whether it be riding a stationary bike. Like you could ride a stationary bike while you're sitting at at your computer or whatever the case may be, things like that. Um, it's just up to that person to be aware. 
good and, information. And and, and, and take care of themselves while they're doing their job or whatever whatever it is they're doing. Now, so so what about diet? I mean, you just go to Instagram and just buy something from the influencers. You, I mean, y'all do it, so it must be fun, right? Well, we know how to cook. <laughs> I mean, we, we know how to, to we know how to cook too. We know how to microwave. Hey, it's simplified. Like well, I said, every right? hey, it's simplified. Okay, you can okay, get you okay. you can get you those you can get you those meals sent to you that are healthy. Get you those oh, healthy yeah, meals sent yeah. to you. It's simplified, <laughs> streamlined. Everything's streamlined now, so you don't have to worry about it. Don't have to go through all the toil and trouble. <laughs> you don't even want to go get your own groceries. Hey, streamlined. You're welcome. <laughs> Everything's streamlined now. So, so, but, but, so, for, for a man in health or even in household uh, health, you know, being at home, because. He's going to be responsible for this. He's going to be responsible for his medical treatment and how he handles. And this is and this is very important, especially you know with technology. This is home base, so it's not like somebody's there. Um, you got a blood draw at off at the uh, complex where a lab corps comes out there and draws blood for a group or uh, area. You're gonna to have to set that appointment up yourself. You're well, have to do these things yourself. So you you think it, you will see more interactive um, when it becomes for a man to do these things, or less? Oh, one hundred percent. One hundred percent less. Well, uh, you can do mostly anything virtual now. So getting blood work done, you can send that off. You, you know, you, like, you. <laughs> they'll, they'll send you the oh, stuff yeah, to, right, they'll yeah, send right. you just like when the, just like, what was it? There, there was a big thing that came out a while back ago. Um, what was that? At Ancestry.com or something like that, where you do like the cotton swab and they tell you what your back, your, your background percentages are. So <laughs> it's just like, who's going to do the prostate? Who's going to do what? The prostate. Your significant other, I hope. <laughs> if there's somebody there for you. <laughs> uh, what are they going to check for? What are they going to see? Hey, man. This one I'm there, there's how-to videos on how all that information is available online at www.webmd.com. <laughs> I, I know. I, and you know what? And, and the thing is, we, 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 we're putting a light spin on it, but it's very serious. And, and we're serious about this because... It's a topic, a conversation that we felt we needed to have. Um, you know, if you don't do what you're supposed to do, somebody's going to have to do it. And and when you're in a situation where you can't take care of yourself, that's a family member. That's a loved one. That's that burden that you're putting on them. So, you know, getting your, you know, Doing your physicals, yearly physicals, dental, every aspect of your health that you could do every year, just the routine stuff. It's just like you maintain your car. You do those things, you can catch things way, way ahead of time. Now, some people go ahead because they just like getting prostate checked. You know, young, young, just, you know, like get <laughs> every week. You know, they probably go down there, but no, nah, I'm just, I'm just joking. But no, no, the importance of it and in someone in his life realize the importance of it to give him a baseline to see where he's at. And then once he gets on his routine, he'll know if any changes come about. But it's not fun. It's not something that a man, you know, you know, wants to do, but you have to do it. Um, and the the younger generation, you know, they probably think they don't have to do it, but we, we'll see who's right. 
<laughs> there's no I mean, there, 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 <laughs> there there's not so much of a we'll see who's right i mean we're, we're, that information all right it's all that information is being provided for you every day 24 7 um man you know, that that uh yeah and so just make sure you you check your influencers before you buy stuff from them <laughs> And check your check your influencers before you buy stuff from them. You know those those health conscious influencers trying to sell you that 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 whey protein or that 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 meal plan for seven ninety nine for your first week. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, but like I said, technology <laughs> has played a major role in where you can get access to things that you couldn't to you couldn't before. But the medical side of things, you, you, you're you going to have to see someone. I mean, you can't, I, I hope it gets to a point where can, they can virtually, you know, just, you know, scan something and get your blood and, and find everything. That's great, but we're not there yet. So right now, it's old school. You make your appointments. You go down there and get this stuff done and get it checked out. You owe it to yourself and you owe it to your family. Because, uh, say, you know, you, do you know how debilitating some things are? You have a stroke, you can't take care of yourself. You know, that's, when, when it starts getting debilitating, that, that somebody else has to take care of you. So that's, that's how important it is as a man. Look, and do you have that in place, that person that can do that? Or are you going to be shipped to a home where you don't know what kind of treatment you're going to get? So think about that, young buck. <laughs> So when you <laughs> when when you that that just made me think about something you, you were saying being disabled, which would in turn end up put you on hopefully social security. Um, when you're relying on that, do you? I'm, I, I don't know how your generation does it, but there's probably not going to be any social security by the time I'm, you know, your age of 130. But <laughs> so, so, so it's not going to be, there's not, there's probably not going to be any social security by the time we, yeah, I get to that, that, that chapter. Um, so I guess the question is, uh, what do you do? What do you do as a person who who may end up being disabled and you can't make an income? I mean, well, I'm sure by that time, hopefully there's something, you know, technology would allow you to do something to earn an income. But as far as, <clears throat> excuse me, as far as relying on it right now, it's kind of an issue. It's absolutely an issue. It's, it's more of, you, I wouldn't rely on Social Security. Mm. So you you will have to find another means to secure yourself or how you're going to live outside of Social Security. That's a smart move. Now, if you want to rely on Social Security, that's fine as well. But, you know, as you know in most everybody who really pays attention, I, I, I'm not knocking anybody that is, is pretty much operated like a Ponzi scheme. You know, the generation behind it pays for the generation for it. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> well, you know, and that's why I know it's not going to last. <laughs> It's not gonna. It's not gonna last because we we're we're, we're making. It's not gonna last. It's not. It's not gonna last because we're making all our money off of y'all buying our influencer products. So we're, we're all we're all become millionaires now because we got a group of people behind us that don't want to work. 
because y'all are buying all our influence. <laughs> You're buying all the influencer products for us, so we don't have to work. What you mean? <laughs> I'm just saying, the same capacity as the generation before. Hey, the people before me, they had nothing to worry about because they had nothing but a bunch of workers, hard workers. You know, people mm-hmm. are gonna make this world a better place mm-hmm. behind. Mm-hmm. What do we have? Oh boy. I mean, you got that. You got the whey. You got the. Got to some alternative. You got the. You got the whey protein in the meal plans. <laughs> what you? That's what you got. You got the whey protein in the meal plans, making those people millionaires. So, in other, so in other words, we live in longer with less. <laughs> with less. Yeah, because they're not gonna hold up their end like we held up our end. So that's why. They always keep talking about Social Security might not be here because the generation behind it. And, and I, I see it now. <laughs> Just making sure. I mean, you you you're pretty you're pretty much making all of them making all of us millionaires by buying stuff that you don't check. So it was the so what's the point of needing Social Security then? What's the point of needing it if we're already rich? We yeah, you, we yeah, need you need it. it. You need it. We don't. <laughs> Whose fault is that? You need it, but we don't. <laughs> Whose fault is that? It's not, not ours. It's not ours. We, we fulfilled our obligation. Uh huh. Doing all that walk twelve miles in the snow for what? To buy some whey protein and some meal plans. <laughs> hey, at least we keep. Hey. At least we keep the weight down, keep the medical industry as not as profitable as it's going to be in the future. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you're selling stuff and you're a millionaire, you can pretty much take, you don't have to worry about a lot of that stuff because you can pay for everything. (laughs) Those numbers are going to get smaller and smaller. By that time, time we'll be where you're at, so we won't have to worry about it. That's the next generation's fault. That's the next generation's problem. Don't have to worry about it. We we got we got a lot of money off of y'all. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you in advance. <laughs> but hey, like I said, whatever works. But what I want to you know stress to you is social security is not guaranteed. You, definitely where you're at. Um this is questionable with me. So uh, but I'm not relying on that. Uh, I still add it in, mm-hmm. you know, the final mm-hmm. numbers. I throw it in there, mm-hmm. but it's, it's not guaranteed because I know what's behind me. I mean, that's fine. That's all well and good. You can know what's behind you. Can <laughs> look, you can know what's behind you, but you you don't know the real terror, the deep of what's behind us. That's the real terror. You don't know, the, but leave the iceberg exactly. You just see the tip of the iceberg. You don't know what's behind us. <laughs> so. I might get a few years of social security. <laughs> Maybe. You talk about Maybe. us. You you just see the the you 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 the Titanic looking at that one. You looking at us at the iceberg, but you don't realize what's underneath. You don't see everything that's underneath here. Oh no, 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 no. We don't see everything that's underneath here. Just see that that top layer. So how does that look at as a male in healthcare for you? What do you got? Whey protein and meal plans. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not using it. We ain't using it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got with protein and meal plans. I'm making my money. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm making you gotta money. make your money. You gotta make your money. You gotta make your money. And, and rightly so. Rightly so. You have to make it. You have to make it fast, hard, and quick. <laughs> <laughs> because but you know, like you said, social security, I I, I see it. It's not gonna be there. It's not, it's, it's, it just can't, you just don't have, you got to have people working to make it work. I, 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 you can keep slamming, you can keep slamming us all you want to. That's, that's all well and good. Look, at the end of the day, you are buying what we're providing. So you, you are making us rich. Now, like I said, we don't have to worry about anything because we're going to be able to take care of ourselves with our money that we got from y'all. So thank you in advance. However, if you're still around here, you need to worry about what's underneath the water and not above it. 
No, no. <laughs> what we need to do is you owe us. The ones that are above the water need to help us. Mm. Like, hey, that does not. But you, you shouldn't have to rely on anyone. If you if you set yourself up, do the things, you know. Let, and, and your health is so important because you can look at anybody. It doesn't matter how much money they got. They can have all the money in the world. If they had bad health, they'll trade it for good health. Uh, so if, if, if you get anything out of this conversation, it's your health is important. Do what you need to do to stay healthy. And that means know where you're at. It's some things you just don't know. And it comes with blood work, you know, your physicals, things like that. You know, all the tests you have to do. You have to get that done. And it's not like you have to do it every week. This is like maybe a year, five years. Like prostate, you know, every five years after that, you know, after you have the first ones, because I had it in this every five years now. So, but at least I know where I'm at. So, and and those things are very important um, because I've lost family members who didn't do that. Um, and the repercussions of it, and it's not immediate, it's a process, you know, you have residual things, strokes, heart attacks, things like that, that come along before, you know, then it's too late. So that is very, very important to do that. Now, um, I hope that the youth understand that. And, you know, for, for him, you know, Tack, you telling me that, that that's rare. You know, because I know right now, my age and older, never had it. They don't want to do it. And they know they should. So I, I'm glad that you got ahead of it. So now you know what to expect. Um, I had a coworker who the first time he had it, it was too late. He died. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it was too late. They, it, they caught it too late. So it, it's it's important. It's important because it costs you your life and how you live and then the burden on your families. Um, so I experienced it personally, and I'm pretty sure there's others out there, and yourself included, because no family is immune from this. You're going to experience this. You know, personally, or you're going to know someone who you care about that's going to experience it. So, it is... Uh, Non social security paying groups, but hey man, you gotta and you know need to worry about what's underneath the water, not what's up top. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, it, pretty much echoing everything that Jay said. Um, and and don't rely on it, it may be there, but don't rely on WebMD and all these other websites. Yes, they may be informative, but it's not as it's not as much as doing the real thing. So at least make an attempt to <laughs> get yourself checked out. Cause I know that's, that's what a lot of us want to do, especially in my generation from the web MD or like, yeah, what symptoms for this, this, and this, Oh, I'm good. Okay, fine. Well, I don't have to go see a doctor. Um, but yeah, just, just at least try to make an attempt. <laughs> so <laughs> that's all, that's all you, somebody can ask. Well, that's all I can ask you because I, I may not know you, but somebody else, if they, if you have a loved one or something like that, just, just make an attempt at least for them just to stay ahead of the game that's right and, and and you know you you know it and everybody here you and i and everybody out there we know people who are in that position we know people in that position 
where they're not what they used to be. Mm -hmm. And that that's on that's on that family member. That's on the people that that love and care about them. But everybody, you know, some of it's good, some of it's bad. You know, they don't have those people. So for me, as long as I can hold out, not have to have that situation or figure it out or hope I get the right person, let, let me take care of me now. Let me be the best me as long as I can be until it's out of my hands. So, you know, like, like Tax said, checkups, get the blood work. You know, not this online. You know, go go lab cores out there, lab cores nationwide. Go ahead, get the blood work, and a lot of stuff is from there can go from, you know, and everybody should have a general practitioner. You know, a doctor you go to, this on a regular basis, no specialist. Just go get the routine general physical, you know, blood work. You know, if you need a colonoscopy or anything like that, they set those things up for you. They got specialists in their network that you go to heart, you know, you, you know, early, you know, heart disease, which is prevalent in my family. You know, things like that. You, you know, they see a trend. They see it. You know, they're monitoring things in your life that say, well, okay, we need to address this early so this doesn't become a problem later. So, but no, excellent information tech. Um, and I, I hope I hope the youth listens to it, the males, because we have the hardest time dealing with this. And we, we need to step up because our families and our loved ones need it need us to be around we don't need to be a burden they need us around to produce and be a positive role model for a long time to come so that's all i got to say about that yep and that's that's about it for us today so well, <laughs> despite the fact that i guess jay thinks the you owe us social security we don't owe you shit. Um, <laughs> hey, I hope we have social. I'm praying for social security. I told you, I told you, it's not gonna be there because you already paid. We, you already, you already paid us. Oh, I've been paid. I've been paid. You, you've already no. You've already paid. There's not gonna be any social security because we already set off of that whey, whey protein and meal plans. We're good. But we'll see y'all next week. <laughs> and. Uh, Appreciate y'all watching and make sure you like and subscribe and all that jazz. And we're out of here later. All right. Good day.